afternoon guys that I've come out this afternoon to take a quick walk around video of a new listing Villa Vista Magnifica that title makes sense in a second but here you can see it's a beautiful L-shaped villa arch fronted porch there scanning around double doors you see there are into the master bedroom there's some more under the arch there which lead into the living room and there's a third door leading straight into the kitchen now properties like this are very rare to the market. You just see a very large timber store shed at the back there. This wonderful grapefruit tree at the back. And just panning around from this side. It's part of a little cul-de-sac, just six houses. Now two of these have changed hands over the last year. Villa Campanula, that lasted on the market for two weeks and Villa Teddy for one day. This is in the same little cul-de-sac, just six properties in total. This is one of the only two that's got the very sought after and enviable Rambler front position. It's a bit of a shame, the clouds have come out today. I managed to grab the pictures on a day when the sun was shining and then overnight virtually it's got very cloudy. And I think the rain and thunder's forecast for this week, so I thought I'd grab, run out today and get this video shot for you guys. But just check out that amazing backdrop. Now this has always been used as a second home, holiday home, in fact there's holiday makers here at the moment, friends of the owner, so you'll have to forgive that a little bit because I've interrupted their holiday to come over and grab this video for you. So you can see the double gate access there, the plot is fully walled, it's far larger than average but it's been sectioned off and I'll show you what I mean in a second. So you can see this little wall at the front here, there's a lovely little orchard below that which kind of looked after itself. This is a built-in barbecue area. So I've come right over into a far corner now and you can see just below this wall that looks like it runs along the frontage of the plot, you've actually got a lovely little orchard section below. Now the current owner really, you know, it just happens to be there. It's created a buffer zone, make sure other properties don't block the view, but he doesn't really do any work with it. And this is kind of self-maintaining. You've got oranges and lemons and figs down there and some olives. barbecue as again it's a holiday home you know at the end of the day they're not gonna put kind of lots of money and effort into making great big terraces and everything so it kind of creates a wonderful blank canvas but it's been used for many years as I say for taking wonderful holidays and the owners are very very private and this kind of L-shaped design and where the plots located ensures that you've got total privacy there's a kind of utility corridor that runs up along the right hand side but I'm not gonna go and film that because you've got everyone's washing out and stuff at the moment so not for your eyes, I'm afraid. <laughs> the pool, you can see, positioned beautifully to enjoy the views, and you can see that from the master bedroom and the lounge. Single story property, which isn't occupied actually on the left, so that's the only neighbor. As you can see, they're panning along the walls are high enough, so there's no window access into your garden, and there's no roof terrace on that one either. Now there's three door access points, if you like, into the property, this double one is off the arch fronted porch and leads straight into the central living room. As you can see, this provides a fantastic shaded dining area. The views from here are magnificent. Overlooks the pool. And the door access just to the left there, straight into the kitchen, so great spot. If you've got guests over entertaining, straight out. Food, drinks, etc. Now the sun rises just to the left hand corner of the villa, goes over the top of those hills in a perfect arch throughout the day. So the pool and the garden are literally bathed in sunshine. Now I decided to come in via the kitchen. Beautiful white marble work surfaces. Very contemporary cream floor and wall units. Built in oven, microwave over there. Very, very good sized kitchen. Lovely neutral tiling scheme. And as I say, please forgive, you know, there's stuff and whatever on the worktops, but there's guys over here currently enjoying a wonderful holiday and I've kind of interrupted and asked if I can come over and do this video just so we can get this out to you because I think this is going to be a real flyer purely because of, you know, where it's located, spec, etc. Seven minutes walk into our Blair's Town Centre through Citrus Groves. Gorgeous central lounge, you can see. 
air conditioning, ceiling fan, nice corner mounted wood burner over there, wall mounted telly. It's not over furnished again, you see this a lot with kind of houses that are used as holiday homes, but it's very comfortable, got all that you need. Arched access off there, gives access to the three bedrooms. And there are the double doors that go out to the porch, pool side. Even though the clouds have come out, it's a very warm day. Um, nice and cool in here though. Pan around for you from the other side now. Just on a little side note, we're getting loads of emails and messages if I can do some kind of more activity videos, location and stuff. Yeah, it's in the pipeline, guys. I'm just not getting the time at the moment because we've got some wonderful new listings that we've been waiting to photograph and bring out to you. So got to make those a priority, I'm afraid. But we'll get back with the usual video soon. So doorway there into the full family bathroom. Full bath with overhead shower. So panning down, you've got a guest bedroom access there. The master bedroom down at the end, you can see beautifully bright and spacious hallway. This takes you into a kind of storage room come linen cupboard. A double bedroom here. Ceiling fan in this room. There's fly screens fitted throughout. This one's got fitted wardrobes as well. There's suitcases and clothes and stuff, so I'm trying my best to work around these and not get them in the video, so sorry if it's a little bit jumpy. Back down the hallway, and as I say, second double guest bedroom on here. Use two singles in here, but. Ceiling fan above. Now down onto the master. It's a ceiling fan, good quality air conditioning unit in this one. Door access there into the ensuite bathroom. Bank of fitted wardrobes. And just quickly from the other side, you can see there, that's the double door access you saw from the exterior. Literally brings you out, I don't know if you can see that, but you come out and your pool side and when the sun awnings up, you've got absolutely amazing views from there. Good size en suite here. Nice walk-in shower tucked around the corner there. 